<laughs> yeah, just your, your regular you know, just, everyday pose. As, yeah. as, a, as a guy does, just carrying his bass around. Yeah. <laughs> this He makes it sound like he doesn't always look like this. <laughs> I do. I'm telling you. All the time. I call it Excalibur. The, um, so that, that then the way they did it upstairs was they just left the tubing exposed. Yeah. And then when you're putting in the floorboards, right, you can see. Awesome. Well, yeah, so um, in terms of uh, playing space, um, Studio A has a room with more square footage, but in terms of cubic footage, this is the largest room in the world. That's cool. Uh, yeah. And here's a question. I noticed there's a little bit of an echo. Is this ideal for recording? Absolutely. Well, mostly. <laughs> Our rooms are either uh, very, very live or very, very dead. Um, so. Nice Armenian carpet you got here. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the brick and tile is actually most of the acoustical properties in the room. Uh, really? Look at it like it shouldn't work out, but it does. Like you've got a bunch of parallel walls here and. Uh, you know, a lot of reflective surfaces, but number one, because there's a lot of uh, cubic footage here. Number two, the diffusion up in the, the way the ceiling is, has been constructed uh, makes a huge difference. And what's in here exactly? This is our, uh, our second playing room. It's a dev room. And uh, yeah, and the minute you walk in, it's immediately like, acoustically very, very. Oh, well, yeah, you can hear the difference. <laughs> yeah, you can, it's weird. You can feel the difference even. Yeah, like, like uh, when I first started. Uh, hanging out in studios, like if you walk into a dead room, like immediately your equilibrium gets a little weird and stuff like that. There, are, like there are enough reflective surfaces in here right now. There's not quite that many. Um, super cool, dude. Yeah, so they, it's a little cramped right now. Uh, we moved a couple of things in here so that the other bank can load in. Uh, we use like a medium perfect. I'm going to quit breaking my staff's balls, my co-workers. We've done it in seven minutes. Uh, this is the dead room in Studio A. It's called Alcatraz. Very cool. Um, they have like cutesy names for each of these rooms here. <laughs> okay, how's it going? Uh, this is the Kentucky room. This is where they do most of the drums for in Studio A. That's really cool. Um, this is a really good sounding drum room. Kind of the highlight here is you see these vents. Um, this floor is suspended. Oh, cool. And underneath it, down in the basement, there's an identical size room. Really? Um, so it effectively doubles the airspace in the room. It gives you better, better acoustics, especially on the low end. That's really cool. Um, so this does not look like a large room, but it's very large. And this room is called Center Field. This is the main live room. In the studio room. And this is where the blue fires did that video? Yeah, if you if you watch the video, they had like the camera over there facing this way. Thanks, man. And uh, one of the kind of cooler features of this room is that we have a separate yeah, set, of, they, uh, separate set of monitors for this back couch here. Pardon me?
on you. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Daniel Sarkissian. I'm an independent filmmaker from Toronto.